Start with uh, some sun salutations. We're going to bring our toe mounds together, our heels just slightly separated. Then I want you to draw up your thigh bones, drop your shoulders down, palms forward. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, let it out. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. I want you to breathe just through your nose. And place your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And then create that sound like the ocean. This is called Ujjayi breath. We're going to inhale fully. Reach the arms up. Exhale into a forward fold. If your hamstrings are tight, mine are tight, just bend the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we're going to step back to Chaturanga. Feel free to just come down to the knees here. Hug the elbows in. And then come to upward dog, top of the feet. Inhale, squeeze those knees off the ground. You can look up or just look forward. And then I want you to roll over your toes. Exhale and come into downward facing dog. Hold it here. Take a couple of really deep, full breaths. Feel free to move from side to side a little bit. Just kind of feeling where you're tight, feeling what's going on in your body. If your heels don't come down to the ground, I want you just to bend the knees. More important for you to keep your back nice and flat, keep those arms straight, than for you to uh, get the heels down and then round the back, okay? So bending the knees is probably, um, you know, more uh, advisable for most students. Take one more nice deep breath in. And out, look forward, step that right leg in, left leg in, flatten the back again. The hands can be up here on the shin, so if we can't touch the ground, this is fine. And then exhale, fold, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come to your heart. Again, inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, come into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take chaturanga, step back, either knees or toes, lower down. Inhale to your upward dog, top of the feet. Squeeze the knees off the ground, gaze upward or forward. Exhale, pull those toes in, downward dog, go ahead and flip them. And just move here, side to side a little bit. Come into that breath. Kind of talk to your body and ask it, you know, what's going on? How are you feeling? What's going on in your mind? Just take some nice, gentle movements here. And if any time you feel like it's too much, okay, if you haven't been practicing for a while, just take a nice, easy child's pose. This is great. Okay, otherwise, take one more breath in your downward dog. Nice, deep, full breath. And then inhale, look forward, step that right leg in, the left leg in, either hands on the shins or down on the ground. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come to your heart, step that left leg back. All right, now the back foot is gonna be slightly turned out at a 45 degree angle, that front leg. You're gonna come here, knee right over the ankle. I want you to place your hands on your hips and notice that your hips are forward, not open up to the side, okay? So if you feel like you can't do that, just turn that back foot in a little bit more. Hold it here. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Go ahead and interlace the hands behind your back. Squeeze the hands together. Hold it here. You can stay here. Or if you want to come forward, gently coming forward, go ahead and bow. And then release hands to the ground. Pick up the back heel and come down into your chaturanga. Inhale to your upward dog. Exhale to your downward dog. And then let's step that left leg in. Those right toes just slightly turned out. Hands on your hips. Modified warrior one. Hold it here. Nice deep breath in and out. Interlace the hands. Squeeze those palms together. And then see if you can bow forward. Good. 
Release the hands down to the ground. Pick up that back heel. Move through your chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale to your upper dog. Exhale, downward dog. Wiggle and shake it out. Slowly walk the feet in to meet the hands. Nice and slow. Just connecting with your body through your breath. Relax the head, bend the knees. Go ahead and grab the biceps. And what I want you to do is bend your knees so much that your ribs actually connect to your thighs. And then start to lower your bottom down. Keep those knees behind those toes. Hold it here for just a second. And we're gonna lift the ch uh, chest off of those thighs. Hold here. Now see if you could take your tailbone and curl it down. Good, hold it here. Reach the arms out if you can. Hold. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Shake out the legs. Bend them left and right. And do that one more time. So I want you to grab the biceps. Hang heavy. Bend your knees, connect your ribs onto your thighs. Slowly sink your bottom down so that those knees are 90 degrees. Hold it here. We're gonna lift the arms. We're gonna slowly lift the chest off of those thighs and then take the tailbone, curl it down. Okay, so you're drawing in through that low belly. Reach the arms. Nice deep breath in. Out, exhale, fold. You should feel that in the legs. You should be burning a little bit. Walk your hands to the top of the mat. Step the legs back into a plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Feel free to just come down to the knees. Come into upward dog. Exhale, pull in those toes. Flip the toes, downward dog. Wiggle, shake, bend, move. Good. I want you to slowly look forward and slowly step your right foot in between those two hands slowly then set it down okay now what we're going to do is lift that back leg off the ground you might want a yoga block here if um, you feel like your hamstring flexibility is limited let me show you with a block here so you can have that handy always so you could be here Okay, the yoga blocks do come in handy, especially um, when we want to squeeze and lock out the leg, all right? But if you don't need it, just go ahead and place your hand on the ground. I like to tap my fingers, um, but you can uh, feel free to just bring the hand flat. So in that back leg, I want you to flex the foot, open up your hip. We can just stay here, but if you feel like it, you can reach that left hand up, flexing that left foot, hold it. Good, release that left hand down, bend that right knee, step it back, and we're gonna take chaturanga, lower it down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, roll over those toes, pull those toes in, pull it up, and release. Then slowly look between those hands, take that left leg, step it slowly between your hands. Good, take that left hand, set it down on the ground. Okay, again, you can use that yoga block if you want to. Open the hip and flex that right foot. Okay, I really want you to squeeze that standing leg. Good. And then lift up that right hand if you want. Otherwise, just keep it on the ground. Hold it here. Breathe. Release the right hand down, bend that left leg, step it back. Let's take chaturanga, exhale again, lower down, knees or toes. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, roll over those toes. Downward dog. Set that right leg between the hands nice and slow again. Again, so pull it in with um, control. Take that right leg, step it between those hands. Then we're gonna drop down to that back knee. You might want to roll up your yoga mat if you feel like it bothers the knee. And then we're just going to roll through this a little bit. 
So just moving forward and back a little bit here. And then I want you to tuck your back toe and we're gonna lift up and lower back down a few times. So just adding a little bit of strength into our uh, lunge here because our muscles will respond a lot better if we give them a little bit of strength. If you want, you can even come on up and barely touch the ground. Good. And then release the knee down, release that back foot. Take a nice deep breath in. Make sure those hips are square. So we're gonna come on up to the top of that knee, on the thigh rather. And then notice if the hips are square, because a tendency in most students is to just bring that knee out a little bit. So we want to pull that right thigh bone back and in. Just hold it here. And then take that right hand, place it onto the thigh, or the forearm rather, and then take the left arm, reach over, and then you're gonna gaze, if you can, underneath that left armpit. If it's too much, you can just gaze forward, all right? You're gonna feel more of a stretch through the intercostal muscle and even into the psoas here. Go ahead and release it, frame the foot, tuck the back toe. If you don't want chaturangas, you can go right into downward dog or just transition here through chaturanga, upward dog. Lower the toes, downward dog. Step that left foot in nice and slow. Pull it in, step it down. Release, back knee onto the ground. Move forward and back a little bit. So if we haven't moved in a while, and I know this because I haven't moved in a while. I uh, took some time off and my body's kind of stiff. Uh, but it's actually almost a little looser too, if that makes any sense. Um, but sometimes when we practice too much, um, we can kind of stiffen the body in certain areas. So taking some time off is sometimes good, all right? So if you want, you can come up here, drop the knee down. So we know my body feels stiff. I feel like it has a little more flexibility in places that it used to not. Um, and that will make sense in your body too as you move. Let's see if we can make this a little more active. Taking hands out. And then release the knee. Squaring those hips, come on up. Notice the hip bones. You can stay here or take that left forearm down to the ground, or down to the ground, I can't even talk today, down to your thigh, and then the right arm reaching all the way over, and then gazing underneath the right armpit. So if you feel a little shaking, a little quivering, it's okay. Just simply breathe through it, you're breathing with sound. Release. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the back toe, either downward dog or Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Awesome, guys. And shake it out a little bit. I want you to come into dolphin. So from downward dog, we're going to drop down to those forearms. Clasp the hands. And just try to hold it here. You may not be able to get your heels down. That's okay. Just bend your knees. I really want you to focus, though, on pressing those forearms into the ground as you move the chest towards those heels, okay? You can even walk it in a little bit if you have more flexibility. Breathe with sound, really pressing those forearms, opening up our shoulders, back of the legs, and then we're gonna glide forward so that our shoulders end up over our elbows. Okay, and we're in this dolphin plank. You can drop down to the knees to modify this. I want you to press up with those shoulders so we do a shoulder protraction. Okay, and the tailbone's tucked, those knees are together. And you should feel the burn. Hold it here. Nice deep breath in and out. And then roll over to that left arm. Okay, stack. The elbow again underneath those shoulders, either stack your feet or I want you to bend the bottom leg, lift the hip off the ground, reach your right arm up. Hold it here. If you want more out of this, you can either come here or we straighten the legs, or I like to stack my feet. 
lift the hip as high as it'll go, hold. Nice deep breath in and out. Hip goes higher. And then release back down and flip on over to the other side. Stacking the feet, lifting the hip, reaching. Hold. Breathing this down, you got it. Lift the hip a little higher. And then take it back to your forearms. Hold here. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. And we'll walk it into our dolphin. So just walk it in as you're comfortable. Inhale. Exhale, move the chest towards the feet, pressing the forearms into the ground, bend your knees if you need to. Dropping down, knees to the ground. Let's take a real simple, easy child's pose here. I'm gonna stretching out the muscles through the back. We're gonna do a camel or ustrasana. We're gonna modify it at first, we're gonna do uh, two of them, okay? So if you have the full version, you can go into it the first time, otherwise I'm gonna walk you through the modified version at first. So you can start with the toes tuck for a little more support. You can also roll up your mat under your knees. I want you to place your hands on your hips, take an inhale, lift the upper uh, chest here. So we're gonna lift the upper back and chest, and you're gonna start bending from your upper back. What I want you to do is place your tongue on the roof of your mouth, and you're gonna send your chest and your hips forward as you squeeze the elbows in and support uh, your low back by um, pressing on your sacrum here. So we're gonna inhale, tongue to the roof of the mouth. I want you to start bending through the upper back first, hips go forward, and then you can either gaze up if you feel like you have neck issues and you don't want to drop the head, that's fine. Or just drop the head back. Hold it here. Inhale, come on up. Untuck those toes. Take one quick child's pose. Reach the arms forward. And then if that was you know, enough for you, you can do that again. Or we'll take it into a full camel. My quads have been really tight. My whole front body has been tight, so hopefully I can do this camel today. But I like to start with the toes tucked because it makes the heels a little bit higher. So again, we start rolling the shoulder blades back. You can have the hands here on the waist, or you can reach back as long as those hips stay forward. Cup the heels, thumbs goes to the outside. Inhale, exhale, and hold here. Breathe. And then inhale, come on up. Exhale, take child's pose. Before I can come down. Good. Slide those hands right by your head, and then we're going to tuck the toes and move right into Chaturanga. Exhale, inhale, upward dog. Roll over those toes, exhale, downward dog, wiggle, shake it out. I want you to take your right hand to your left um, calf muscle here, okay? So I want you to get into a nice downward dog. So go from your plank to your downward dog. Feel free to just bend the knees. And then see if you have enough strength to lift up that right hand. If you do, just reach through and see if you can grab through um, and hold on to the calf there. And then if you feel stable, you can look underneath the armpit. Nice deep breath in and out. Drawing the belly in. Release it. Let's do the other side. Grab onto the calf, twist and look under the armpit. Breathe. Release it. Move forward into Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Roll over those toes. Pull them in. Downward dog. Let's go ahead and lay on our back. So look uh, between those hands. Go ahead and give me a little hop cross. Have a seat. Knees come into the chest. Lay on back. Kind of rock it out a little bit here. My hips are so tight. 
Oh my goodness. Time away from the mat usually means we sit a lot. So you'll have a lot of tightness in your hips if um, you have a job where you have to sit a lot. I want you to place that right foot onto the ground, take that left leg and cross it over. You may not be able to wrap it underneath the calf, that's fine, you can just um, you know, leave it here pointed. And what we're gonna do is bring the arms out into a uh, like cactus arms. So kind of line up your elbows with your shoulders. If you can, go into eagle, drop the legs very slowly by pinning the left shoulder down to the ground as you drop the legs to the right. I want you to think about keeping your shoulders pressing onto the floor equally. You can just gaze upward. If that feels really uncomfortable with the legs, just let go of the bind. And you can even be here with your knees stacked on top of each other. I just want you to feel this twist in your spine. We can also get the hips if we do this eagle twist. Sometimes people, if they're tight through um, the TFL, they can feel it a little bit better like this. So you can switch your cross. I want you to kind of play around with it and see which feels the best to you. Another deep breath in and out. And then go ahead and release it, knees into chest, to the other side. So we're gonna cross, however you did on the other side. Nice deep breath in, pin the right shoulder down to the ground, gazing upward towards the ceiling, tip of the nose is your drishti. And then slowly drop those legs over to the left, pin the right shoulder down. Breathe. And I kind of like, I think my TFL is pretty tight. If you sit all day, TFL can get really tight. Whew. So you can switch around those legs, which one you want on top. And then release. Knees back into chest, big hug. All right, guys. So I want you to take the left leg out straight, flex the foot so that the calf is on the ground, and then you're gonna clasp the hand over that right knee and bring it outside of the rib cage, almost like you're gonna to touch the armpit or the shoulder here. I mean, you probably won't be able to touch it. Then you can just relax this right foot. It's hard sometimes in the mind to relax one foot and flex the other, but relax your right foot, flex the left foot, and pull that knee all the way in, outside of the ribs, all the way up towards the armpit. Hold it here. Nice deep breath in and out. Good. Now take that left leg, bend it, pull it in as close to your bottom as you can. Then take that right foot, cross it over. So you're almost hooking the foot on the outside of the thigh and then lift up. Hold it here and press your right knee down towards the ground. Big breath in and out. One more time, in and out, slowly lower down. Release that right foot down to the ground, flex the foot, clasp the hands over that left knee, pull it to the outside of the ribs and bring it up to the shoulder, relax that left foot, hold it here, breathe. So this is um, Pavan, Pavan Kasana. This is a great um, posture, both sides of them will do both knees into the chest for um, digestion, if you have any issues um, going on in your stomach or colon or anything like that, these are really awesome. The, the translation is called, uh, in, from Sanskrit, is wind removing pose. Uh, so, wind relieving pose, sorry, wind relieving pose. So, you kind of get the gist of what it does. All right, guys, bring that right foot in. Cross the left foot over, flex the foot. Bring the knee towards the ground, lift the hips up. Nice deep breath, really squeeze the glutes, press up, up, up. Release, both knees into the chest now. If you can't um, uh, bind the hands like this, I want you to just grab the knees. I want you to think about keeping your tailbone on the ground. So reach up, see if you can bind the hands either here at the wrist or even clasping um, at the fingers. And then slowly place the back of your neck down on the ground, so chin almost to chest there. Relax the feet and then pull the knees in. 
And what you can do to help release this a little bit is kind of press your knees against your arms and then let it go. So press your knees against your arms and let it go. Press knees against arms, let it go. One more time, knees against arms, let it go. Good. Now release the hands, bring the knees in, and I want you to use your muscles. So these are, this is your core, your hip flexor muscles. Pull your knees to your chest without taking your tailbone off the ground. Squeeze, so it doesn't look like much, but I'm actually really feeling it through my core here and my hip flexors, pulling my knees towards my ribs. Point your toes, and then reach around, release, and stretch it out again. Going right into happy baby pose. So you're gonna release this, grab the outside of the soles of your feet. Try to keep your knees in that 90 degree angle. If you can't grab the feet, just grab the ankles or even the back of the thighs. Hold it here. Nice deep breath in and out. One more. Release, cross the legs. We're gonna roll up and take the legs out. Okay, so actually we have a block handy. If you don't have a block, you're gonna pretend that you have a block. <laughs> My hair's a little crazy right now. And I want you guys to place the block um, so I'm in the middle of my mat, right? With my legs out from about a 90 degree angle. So place it over onto the right side of your mat, all right? And then what I want you to do is take that right leg, lift it up and bring it over the block. So we're gonna go five, keep your chest lifted. Four, point your toe, lift it as high as you can. Three, and if you wanna make this hard, you can always, you know, do this. <laughs> Two, I can go higher than that, that's pretty cool. One more. This gives you a little incentive, right? See the other one? Sit up nice and tall. Take that left leg, bring it up five, four. Try to lift it as high as you can. Three, two, one. I think I did an extra one on the side. That's okay, just do five. And then flex eight and we're gonna just come forward. I want you to really engage your legs, so squeeze your quadriceps, lift those heels off the ground, pull those toes back, and then release. Do it again, squeeze, engage, relax. One more time, squeeze, engage, and relax. You can come all the way down if you have the flexibility. And if you're super tight and you're just like this, that's fine, okay? As long as you're feeling it through those inner thighs and through those hamstrings, and then I want you to come on up. I'm gonna turn so you guys can see this, but stay where you are. You're gonna take that right leg to the inner thigh. You're gonna twist your upper body and see if you can get your elbow or even your tricep behind your, so this is your left arm behind your left leg, and then you're gonna twist your upper body, gaze upward, take that right arm and reach over. So you should feel this all down through your side, all right? So if you have more flexibility, you'll grab the foot. But most people, um, you know, this is enough just to be here. This is a great stretch, really rotating so that the shoulders are stacked in a nice straight line. Thumb is up, so this is an external rotation of shoulders, so thumb isn't down. We're turning the thumb up. If you have the flexibility, you'll grab the foot, try to get the shoulder behind that thigh, and gaze up towards the sky. You'll feel a great stretch here. Try to really anchor down through that right hip bone, opposite hip bone and release, other side. Okay, so set yourself up. Twist the upper body, try to get the tricep behind, reach, left arm up, gaze, keep the hip bone down. And if you have the flexibility, try to get the shoulder behind the leg, grab the foot, and try to really anchor down through that left hip bone. Release it. Oh, all right. All right, so what I want you to do is bring those feet in so that they are hip width and then lift your booty off the ground or come into this malasana squat. If you can't get the heels on the ground, you're gonna be like this or you can even come wider. See if you can go wider, you can place your back up against the wall. You can even take your block and place the block under you so that you can actually hold the position, okay? So I want you to come into your best yogi squat here. 
Lift the chest. Nice deep breath in and out. Again, nice deep breath in and out. We're gonna rotate again. So I want you to take your right hand and grab your left um, ankle there. Then take that left arm, reach up, gaze through and up at the palm. And then release it, other side, inhale. Exhale. And release, hands come back to your heart. If your toes are turned out, go ahead and turn them forward. And then lift up into a nice forward fold, bend your knees, grab your biceps. Hang your head heavy. And then let go of those arms. Shake out the head, neck, shoulders, jaw. Just hanging nice and heavy. You can bend your knees. And what we're going to do is cross one foot under. Come on down to seated. Sit comfortably. Spine nice and straight. Once you close your eyes, drop your shoulders. Slow down your breath. And just breathe naturally. Go ahead and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And then using just the weight of your hand, you're going to take your right hand and just place it on the top of your head, but you're not going to pull down. You're just gently going to rest it on the top of your head as you pull that right ear, or no pulling, but as your right ear kind of just descends down towards that right shoulder. And release it. Neck back in neutral. Nice deep breath in and out. And then drop your ear, your left ear, to your left shoulder. And then using the weight of your hand, just gonna place it on your head. No pulling, just letting the weight of your hand add just a little bit more to the stretch. And then release. And you take a nice inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come back to your heart. Thank you guys for practicing with me today. Don't forget to leave me a comment and a review. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and have an awesome day. Thanks, guys.